Yes, Newcastle United fans, your boy Fordy, a.k.a. Ford Have Mercy, and welcome to the preview between Newcastle United and, of course, Cardiff City FC. A game that I've been looking forward to for a very long time now. Even the away leg looks appealing at the end of April, but let's get this one out of the way first, shall we? Right, so, starting off with the away team under Neil Warnock. He's got a lot on his plate. Currently sitting 21st in the league at the moment. Compared to us, sitting pretty at the top of the tree. Top of the league, three points clear of Brighton. He has got a lot to deal with. And he'll be looking to come to St. James's Park and prove a point to all of us Magpies. So, where do they start? Well, they're going to start from the top, really. They've got the likes of, obviously, Ricky Lambert and Pilgerton up top. And even Marwan shamak has got a new barnet as well. So, he will look to prove a point as well. In midfield, they're looking very strong as well. They've got the likes of Noon and obviously Junior Hoyler on either wings. And Peter Whittingham is going to be crucial in that midfield as well. At the back, they've got the likes of Bamba and Bennett. And obviously Amos in goal. So, again, it looks like a strong lineup, And it is quite surprising saying all of those names that they are in the current position that they are in they're in at the moment. Newcastle United on the other hand, well I'm just going to say it one more time, we're top of the league, yes, you heard right, we're top of the league and um, obviously there's a couple of things that we need to consider going into this game. Matt Ritchie will be missing this game through suspension, he picked up another yellow card bringing that to a total of five I believe and he'll be sitting out for this game and probably going to be replaced by Christian Atsu which again no complaints on that one whatsoever. Dwight Gale is a major doubt for this one. He might be on the bench, but I don't think he'll start for this one. Um, according to Rafa in the previous game, he was a big doubt. And I still believe he's still got a bit of an injury. But congratulations to him as well. Ra uh, that's not Rafa, that's Dwight Gale, that is, uh, for picking up PFA Player of the Month. So, in terms of head-to-heads... <laughs> Barring the little blip that we had in the FA Cup in 2014, we've done pretty well against them in the Premier League where we last played them and in the Championship as well, as you can see on screen. So again, nothing to worry about in that terms of things. But obviously going into the current form, well, we've won seven on the bounce compared to them who've won only two out of the previous six as well. So it's looking good on both fronts. Now, in terms of my prediction, I'm going to go with a 3-1 win. It's not going to be easy, and I keep saying this um, in the last previous weeks, it's not going to be easy, even though we are top of the league. As I said before, they've got quality in their squad, especially proven championship quality in their squad. Um, I believe they will try and frustrate us in the first 20 minutes, and that's where it's always crucial and that's always key. Um, to win the games, I, I believe. If we have the likes of Mitro starting instead of Gale, we need to watch him as well because I've got a funny feeling that Warnock will tell a lot of his players to, to frustrate him, especially to see if we can get him a booking or even get him sent off as well. So keeping Mitro on the pitch is crucial if he does start as well. I'm still going to go with 3-1. I do believe if Mitra does start, he will score. Obviously, he's got 4-2 and two at the moment going into this game. And um, with the likes of Atsu and obviously Gufan playing, if he does start, he'll have the service provided to put the ball in the back of the net. Um, I'm, I was hoping for a clean sheet with Darlow if he does start, but with the firepower that they have up top, the likes of Ricky Lambert, he is a threat with any balls coming into the box there. So that is my preview. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you did check out my uh, first segment on Fan TV UK. If not, I will be on there next week and all weeks coming via Skype. So check it out. Wednesdays on at 9pm. And um, I'll see you guys at the game. I will be doing fan cams, hopefully outside the Alan Shearer statue, um, not the Sir Bobby Robson statue. So please look out on Twitter if anything does change on that one. Uh, if you want to get yourselves on fan cams, you know what to do. Meet me outside of there around about 15 minutes after the game. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. I'll see you guys on Saturday. Keep it tuned. Peace.